As you might probably know by now, Epic Games has been recently sued by several people who claim that the game developers of Fortnite stole their dance moves and are making money off them in the game. And while most can agree that it's not okay for someone to steal your creative ideas, can anyone really own a dance move? Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. On this channel we tell you about the biggest news stories happening on the internet, hit that subscribe and notification bell for daily updates on your phone, and follow the IO team on Instagram, our links are posted in the description. Before I get into this video, tell me down there in the comments. Do you think people can own a dance move? Epic Games are trying to get one of the lawsuits dismissed. The complaint filed by rapper Terrence to Millie Ferguson. He claims that Epic Games used his dance move and didn't compensate him. His dance step is called Millie Rock, and in Fortnite it's called Swipe It. Epic Games' attorney said this to California federal court. The plaintiff's lawsuit is fundamentally at odds with free speech principles as it attempts to lose liability and therefore chill creative expression by claiming rights that do not exist under the law. He further said, no one can own a dance step. See, there's this little gray area when it comes to copyright and dancing. Choreography is protected by copyright, but Epic Games' lawyer is trying to make the case that a simple routine does not constitute an entire choreographed dance and it shouldn't be protected under copyright. Essentially, there haven't really been any cases like this. Sure, there's been similar cases involving choreography, poses, and movements, but a single dance step shouldn't be considered a protectable idea. Or so this lawyer says. The swipe it dance in Fortnite is also a little bit different than Millie Rock. Millie Rock consists of a side step to the right while swinging the left arm horizontally across the chest to the right, then reversing and doing the same movement on the other side. Swipe it, the dance move in Fortnite, is not the same. For one, it contains different movements. It's faster than Millie Rock, and there's movement in the ribs in the rapper's dance while the emote has the avatar's ribs remain in place. The other people who filed lawsuits against Epic Games include Alfonso Ribeiro from The Fresh Prince of Bel Air who alleges that Epic Games used his Carlton dance without compensating him. The Backpack Kid also claims that Epic Games used the floss without compensating him. In Fortnite, you can purchase these dance moves so that your characters can do it in the game. So Epic Games is making money off of them, but nobody knows how much. We actually did a story about the Backpack Kid suing Fortnite, and he claims that he was the first person to do the floss, and Fortnite players can do it in the game. If you want a little bit more of a background on that, click the link that's currently on the screen. But basically the gist of it is, the Backpack Kid wasn't the first person to do the floss. So why should he be able to win a lawsuit against Fortnite for stealing a dance move that wasn't even his in the first place? It sounds like from what this lawyer is saying that it's pretty likely that this case will get thrown out, and maybe so will all the other cases against Epic Games for using dance moves. Essentially, dance moves are part of free expression, which is a type of free speech. What do you guys think? Can you own a dance move? Should you be able to own a dance move? Why or why not? Let me know down there in the comments. For now, I'm going to respond to some comments from my video. Chuck E. Cheese responds to Shane Dawson's theory about leftover pizza. Cactus Gang said, oh my god, yes, came here after Shane's video. Dude, I heard that the algorithm was putting us in the up next after Shane's conspiracy theories video and it made me pretty excited. Like, I wish that could happen every time. I would be a very rich lady. JC said, as an employee of Chuck E. Cheese, I will confirm that there are shady things that happen there. The concern isn't the pizza they were supposed to be worried about. It's the fountain drinks. Whew, okay. I'm scared to read further, but okay. If you take a closer look at the fountain drinks, you will actually notice that it does not resemble any of the drinks that you will be tasting. Oh, I guess uh, I won't be going to Chuck E. Cheese anytime soon. Damn it, I plan to go there this weekend. The zombie killer said I love eating other people's food. Mm. Rosa Neely said Chuck E. Cheese is telling Shane to take down the video. Are you kidding me? Shane repeatedly said that it was just a theory, and even the title is conspiracy theories, not conspiracy facts. Alex Jr. said, so am I the only one who waits for the table next to you to leave just so I can eat the leftovers? Um, yes, Alex, you are. Welcome to the end screen. This means the video is over. To keep watching IO, click on that playlist floating on your screen, and obviously leave a like, subscribe, and turn on these notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.